getting the exception access violation error while playing Star Wars Jedi Survivor? Here are seven ways you can fix it. Before we move forward, do us a favor by subscribing to our channel and liking this video. It's free and helps us a lot. You can also support us by buying our team a coffee for our work. We do tons of research trying to find the working solutions for you. Your little support will help us continue making solution videos for you and others. Now let's get started. Method 1. If you are using ASUS or MSI motherboards, then the Nahimic service can cause the issue for you. Press the Windows plus R keys to open Run. Type services.msc and press Enter. Look for the Nahimic service and double click on it. Set the startup type to disabled. Click on Stop if the option allows you. Next click on Apply and OK to save the changes. Restart your PC. Method 2. Another thing you can do is change the launch options from Steam. Open Steam and head to Library. Right click on the game and click on Properties. In the Launch Options section, type "-d3-dx11". Now run the game from Steam and see if it solves the issue. Method 3. The next thing you can do is verify the integrity of game files. Open Steam and head to Library. Right click on Star Wars Jedi Survivor and select Properties. Click on the Local Files tab and select the Verify Integrity of Game Files option. Wait for Steam to finish verifying and once done, play the game. Don't have a solution so far? After the video ends, Join our Facebook group where our experts help users just like you solve tech issues every day. Join the group from the link in the description or the pinned comment and ask for help. We promise to help you out. Method 4 Another thing you can do is install the Visual C++ redistributables. What you need to do is search Visual C++ redistributables on Google. Click on the first link of Microsoft.com. We have also provided this link in the description, so you don't have to search. Download the Visual C++ redistributables for 2022. Remember to download the correct architecture like downloading x64 for 64-bit systems and x86 for 32-bit systems. Install the downloaded file as shown. Now restart your PC. After the PC restarts, run the game and the error should be fixed. Method 5 The next thing you can do is install the latest version of DirectX. What you need to do is search DirectX Runtime Download on Google and open the first result from Microsoft.com. Here, select the installer language you prefer and click on Download. Wait for the download to finish and run the installer. Complete the installation and wait for the installation to finish. While you're waiting, give this video a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. After the installation completes, restart your PC. Now run the game. Method 6. The next thing you need to do is update your graphics drivers. If you are using an NVIDIA graphics card, you can use GeForce Experience to update the graphics drivers. If you don't have it installed, download and install it from NVIDIA's website first. Run GeForce Experience. After you open the app, click on Drivers and check if any new drivers are available. Download and install it. For AMD graphics cards, the process is similar 
but uses the Radeon software instead of GeForce experience. Run the app and check for any available drivers. Download and install the latest drivers. Restart your PC. Method 7 Another thing you can try is reinstalling the graphics drivers. Right click on the start menu and select device manager. Expand display adapters and right click on the graphics driver. Select uninstall device and follow as shown. After the driver gets uninstalled, you will have to install it. For AMD graphics driver, install the Radeon app and run it. Similarly, for NVIDIA graphics drivers, you will need to install the GeForce Experience and run. If you already have them installed, simply running them will automatically detect that the graphics drivers are missing and they will download and install them. Restart your PC after the drivers are installed. Then run the app again to check for any updates. If any update is available, download and install them. So that's it. Subscribe to our channel and get quick solutions to all your tech issues. Join our Facebook group where you will get direct help on everything tech. Leave a comment and help others know which solution solved your problem. Support our dedicated team of troubleshooters and editors directly through Buy Me A Coffee. Thanks for watching and always remember that we are here to help you out.